creation of my maps based on bitmap source is as much benefit as the NC users. This easy method is fast, free, fully cross-platform and reduces excellent results. The Hume 2.6 or later is used for image editing. 3D Passage is recommended for mesh displacement. Windows platforms can use on a vendor if desired. Mesh Lab 1.2 or later is used for mesh editing. This method is proven on Windows XP, Windows 7 and the Linux CNC or distribution of Ubuntu 10.04 for EMC. Line art or stencil type images produce high quality results with a minimum of work. Many such images can be found at zero cost via internet search engines. A low resolution stencil type source is used for this example. Basic editing techniques produce a high resolution shaded height map. The new version 2.8 is used in the example. Earlier versions have the same tools and functions. One important update is the option for the Unit 2.8 HUI to use only a single window. The source bitmap is loaded. Image dimensions are 352 by 352 pixels. Shift Ctrl J is used to fit the image to the window. Image dimensions and resolution are not affected. Select by color is activated. Default tool options are fine for two color images. Left click on any black area selects all black pixels. Select to pass creates an SVG vector from the selection. The image is scaled using settings to suit on a vendor. The SVG vector automatically scales with the image. Bitmap scaling uses pixel averaging. Path vectors are scaled using math functions, reducing a much better result at any user-defined resolution. Shift Control J is used to fit the image to the window. The Path tab is activated. Right-click on the Path opens the Path context menu. Path to selection creates a new selection from the scale vector. The Layers tab is activated. Right-click on the Layer opens the Layer Context menu. New layer is used to create a layer filled with white to the Union default background color. Right-click on the original layer launches the Layer Context menu. Delete layer deletes the original layer. The Bucket Fill tool is activated. The selection created from the Scale Path Vector is filled with black. Scaling based on vectors allows adjustment of source images to produce optimum results. Fuzzy Select is activated. Left click on the white background and select this area. Select Invert makes the center design the active selection. Quick mask mode is activated. Unselected areas display as semi-transparent red. Fully selected areas are completely transparent, allowing the selected area to show through. Quick mask is deactivated. Select Save to Channel saves the selection as a 256 color editable mask. The save channel can be named if desired. The layers tab is activated. Select None clears the active selection. Left click on the layer makes it a curved focus. Fuzzy Select is used to select the inner white area. The selection is saved to a channel and named. The Layers tab is activated. Select None clears the active selection. The Magnify tool is activated. The view is zoomed and panned, allowing placement of four guides at inner edges of the ring area. Guides will assist the selection of the center part of the image. Let's 
select is activated and the selection is snapped to the guys. Guides are removed and the selection is adjusted. The selection is saved to a channel and made. Right-click on Channels launches a Channels context menu. Channel to selection loads the saved inner all selection. Right-click on the inner channel launches a Channels context menu. Subtract from selection removes the inner channel from the active inner all selection. A ring around the outside edge remains selected. Selection is saved to a channel and made. The inner all selection is reloaded. The ring channel is subtracted from the selection. Quick mask is activated. The pencil tool is activated. Tool options are adjusted at increasing brush size to paint the smooth curve joining areas of the cross element. Unrequired areas are painted out of the quick mask. Image magnification can be adjusted during painting using the mouse wheel. The painted mask should be carefully checked to ensure small areas are not left unpainted. The selection is saved to a channel and made. The inner all selection is reloaded. Cross and ring channels are subtracted from the inner all selection. Quick mask mode is activated. Any remaining small areas are painted out of the equipment as selection. Equipment as is deactivated. The selection is saved to a channel and made. Saved channels of required areas will be used in application and adjustment of high map shading. The outer channel is loaded as the active selection and the layers tab is activated. The layers context menu is used to create a new layer filled with black, the union default foreground color. The foreground color is adjusted to 35% gray value. With a new layer as focus, the bucket fill tool is activated. A fill hole selection option is selected and the fill is applied. This area forms the face of the relief. Height will be 35% of the total displacement. The 
channels tab is activated. The four parts channel is loaded. Below the layers tab, a new transparent layer is created. Foreground color is adjusted to 65% gray value. The fill is applied to the four parts selection on the transparent layer. The selection is feathered by one pixel and expanded with row by two pixels. Gaussian blur with blur radius of 45 pixels is applied. Blurring against transparency softens fill edges, allowing the layer below to show through. The result is a gradient transitioning between 35 and 65% gray value around the edge of the four parts selection. The color curves tool is activated. Image out our transparency option is selected. Left click in the image window inserts a line in the color curve graph indicating transparency value at the selected point. Left click on the color curve adds an adjustable point corresponding with a selected value. Curve shape adjustment can leave the selected value unchanged. Alternatively, the inserted point can be adjusted applying relative adjustment across the entire transparency curve. Curve adjustments provide useful control of transition shaping between relief elements. The cross channel is loaded as the active selection and a new transparent layer is created. Foreground color is adjusted to 90% gray value. Background color is adjusted to 45% gray value. The gradient tool is activated and the radial gradient option is applied. Guides are positioned to locate the selection center and the foreground to background radial gradient is applied. Guides are removed. Caution blur of 35 pixels blur radius is applied. The color curve tool is used to adjust shaping by editing layer transparency. Active selection and a new transparent layer is created. The new layer is made to focus, and the bucket fill tool is used to apply the foreground color of 90% gray value to the selection. The selection is feathered by one pixel and expanded with row by two pixels. Caution blur with blur radius of 45 pixels is applied. The color curve tool is used to adjust shaping by editing layer transparency. On any layer shows the layer's context menu. New from visible creates a new layer by blending all visible layers. File save as is used to save the work file in XCF format, preserving any layers, channels or tasks in the saved file. 
right click on any layer shows all layers context menu. Flatten image collapses the image to the top layer. The outer channel is loaded as the active selection and the layers tab is activated. The selection is feathered by one pixel and expanded with row by two pixels. Reference space caution blur is applied to reduce slight overall softening. The image is exported as the MP format for use in mesh displacement software. Stage is recommended for generation of relief meshes. The GUI is basic, but features provide full control over both mesh subdivision and topology. These aspects of the task compact on the quality of relief output and require system resources. Mesh topology can employ triangular faces or quads. Displacement based on triangular faces requires less geometry. Control over mesh subdivision allows user to find mesh resolution. Use is quite simple. File open picture allows selection of the required height map. When the height map loads, number of division value is entered. For triangle based meshes, a 1 to 1 pixel to face ratio reduces the best results. Each square mesh division comprises two triangular faces. Division setting of 540 by 540 creates 1080 faces along the edge. A maximum displacement amount is established with a high max value. Wireframe display mode is deactivated. Pressing update generates the relief. The rotate feature allows some limited adjustment of the view. A landscape only option provides a larger view of the mesh. File export to Offrunt OVJ is used to save the relief using an identifiable file name. Windows users have the option of using Pump Vendor for relief generation. Mesh subdivision is dynamically allocated based on image pixel dimensions. This image was adjusted to reduce optimum results. A mesh measuring 12 by 12 inches with maximum available resolution of 90 quads per inch is generated. Relief height is established as 0.7 inches. The GUI is adjusted for a better view of the relief. Meshes having large detail may benefit from use of blur. Undisplaced areas can be trimmed by choosing a transparent background option. Export model allows the relief to be saved using STL format. MeshLab is a powerful geometry processor with many useful functions. On launch, the user is presented with an empty project. File, import mesh, loads compatible geometry. OBJ geometry is subject to processing as loading takes place. MeshLab uses a perspective view by default. The 
Windows menu allows fast setup of the orthographic view. The view menu hides the on-screen trackball providing an unobstructed view. Flat lines display mode ensures all faces are visible. The select faces by rectangular region tool is activated. A suitable region is dragged around required faces. The view is adjusted to confirm only displayed faces are selected. A filter inverts the selection. It's important to deactivate the invert vertices option. Apply executes the function. The delete faces and associated vertices tool removes unrequired faces. The surface requires optimization and smoothing. A quadric edge collapse decimation filter greatly reduces face count. The default option seeks to reduce face count by 50%. It's helpful to use preserve mesh boundary and planar simplification options. Surface smoothing can be further improved using a HC Lablation Smooth Filter. The filter averages differences in vertex height to smooth a mesh surface. Repeat applications apply additional smoothing. File Export Meshes is used to save the mesh in STL format. The vendor output does not require trimming but greatly benefits from optimization. Quad face meshes can have a vast number of redundant faces. A quad mesh collapse decimation filter is applied. Default options are adjusted to reduce face count by 85%. Reserve mesh boundary and planar simplification options are active. Apply executes the face decimation function. Smooth filter will further improve surface smoothing. One or two applications should be sufficient to smooth a mesh while preserving mesh detail. Export mesh saves the optimus mesh. STL content can be coded for carving using free mill or other 3D coding software.